It might be any and stuff for very flexible guys, right? Um, it works for me to a degree. If I got a guy who's uh, really strong and I need to control him or whatever, I'll go here first, and then I'll use it to set something else up, right? So that's all I'm really trying to do right here, just to set up the next thing. So I pull Vince forward here, you know, his hands are on the inside. I control his head. He can use double up on the head control. If I could turn his head to the side, I'm in much better shape. If I can't turn his head though, and he's just following me everywhere I go, that's when I come up here, right? Just want everybody to understand it. If I can't reach you, <coughs> I need to turn my hips out, and then that'll, that'll make the distance a lot shorter, right? I gotta keep this leg in here nice and tight. I cannot be loose with this leg or this is no pass. Right? Stay tight here. Big circle with this hand, and I'm hugging my knee, right? From here, my personal preference is still to go ahead and grab the shoulder once I've got the control that I need. I'm reaching through here, and I'm grabbing the shoulder, and I'm trying to put this foot in the hip. If I can get it in here, I have a lot of options, right? I said the triangle is the focus for the day, right? But the arm lock is going to be this arm, right? The reason why this works so well is because people rarely see it coming. You can push the head over, pass this leg over the head, and then just catch the guy, all right? If he pulls the arm free, <coughs> that's when I'm redirecting back to the triangle, okay? So that's our first triangle setup. It's going to be just a classical kind of way to get it, where we're setting it up with the arm attack, okay? Really, really simple. The difference, the thing that's not simple is because of my, you know, crazy leg position that I'm using here. Okay. Pulling guy forward, his hands are still on me, I'm controlling his posture. Ankle out with my hips if I need to, all right? Lift, just so I can hold on, I can just, this is easier to hold than this, you know? And my left hand is freed up now so that I can do that swim, get his hand on the mat. And I'm just hugging here momentarily, I'm angled out as much as I can, and I've reached through and grabbed his shoulder. Right. Now my right hand is free. Okay. So it's all about what hand I want to be using. I use my right hand now. I pinch my knee in and I put my foot on his hip and his arm comes forward. That's when I know I can go. All right. If I try to get my knee in there and his elbow's out, I'm going to need to do something else. Right. If he reaches back for some reason, you guys are going to know what to do here. Right. What would I do here? Try. Jump the triangle if I can jump it. Right. Boom. That's easy. Right. If he's hugging in tight, I would switch my wrist. 45 degrees kick over, right? But instead, Vince's elbow is on the inside. So when I put my foot on his hip, I trap his arm, right? His arms are crossed like this. Just push his head over, lift up here. Make sure when you lift up, <coughs> don't open your leg up too much. So he pulls that arm free, okay? Just a small movement here, just as small as it needs to be to get in front of his head. He wants to get in front of his head. So you can switch it up now. I won't commit to the arm lock until I'm sure I don't need this anymore, right? Because he might yank that arm free. So when he yanks the arm free, that's when I'm kicking through here. He's still got his posture in control. He's like, get yank free and pass, right? You sure if you can grab, lock up the triangle with the flexible. You can finish the guy right here. So if you're not flexible, you need to make your adjustments, right? Make sense, guys? Not too much, right? Let's get a different partner and work through it, guys.